you or I a man having fun on a swing? Not so. Here, a shaman who many believe have influence over good and evil spirits. He's conducting a ritual in front of South Korea's top treasure, the South Gate. And that part of the ritual over, he's now seen walking over blades used for chopping fodder. Organiser Lee Kisiong. We organise this ritual service for visitors to make bows with piety and with regrets to our ancestors. And there's certainly no doubting the shaman's enthusiasm. Just look at him go. Well, according to local media, the stone and wood structure was burnt down by a man known only as Chai. The police say he'd planned the arson for several months as payback for the government's handling of his compensation appeal for the redevelopment of the area where he lived. 68-year-old Kim Hibok is mortified. I feel ashamed of my offspring. I can't describe what I'm feeling. We should restore it for our descendants. Now more than 500 South Koreans have gathered to watch the shaman's ritual. Also known as the Gate of Exalted Ceremonies, what's now a burnt ruin withstood invasions, colonial occupation, and was one of the country's few historic monuments left standing after the Korean War. The Cultural Heritage Administration have said it'll cost three years for them to build another one at a cost of over £10 million.